Hi there. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this digital clock. It's based around an Arduino and uses WS2811 RGB addressable LEDs. It uses a DS3231 RTC or real time clock because the Arduino can't keep track of time. Around the back it has a clear panel so you can see the insides and it has an LCD display which is 20 characters and 4 line and it communicates with the Arduino using I squared C. It's all powered by a 5 volt, 5 amp, 25 watt book step down converter which gets its power from a power adapter which is from a set of LED lights from underneath a kitchen unit. Because of the book converter it can take an input voltage of anywhere between 7 volts and about 30 volts. The display can also show the date, the temperature and, just for a bit of fun, how many days it's left till Christmas. I made the whole unit as simple as I could using only simple hand tools, using a pistol drill and a few other bits and bobs. I started making this project from an 18mm thick piece of pine but as I drilled the holes it split along the grain but I continued with it just to check that the LEDs were up and functioning. Testing the LEDs using a fast LED library demo. To make the programming easier at the end of every row I cut the data cable and took it back to the start of the next line down. A full display test. I started doing it again using some higher quality 18mm thick marine plywood. I marked all the holes out using my CNC router. I could have easily have done it just as well using a pencil and a ruler. Next I had to drill all the way through using a 13mm drill bit. It was given a light sun to, to knock off all the birds. Followed by a coat of black spray paint. The outside was made out of pine and cut using a cheap and slightly damaged mitre saw. parts down on the floor to check that I've put all the dimensions correctly. Next I had to glue the box together.
Looking back, it would have been better to have got a purpose-built jig, but it worked out all right wedging it with a few objects. A spacer was added before putting the hold plate in to give it a little recess in the front of the clock. A line of glue secured it in place. It's had a quick coat of varnish all over, inside and out. A handle was added to the top by drilling two holes through and securing with a couple of bolts. A magnetic catch was added at each end to hold the clear back panel in place. I had to transfer the LEDs from the old board onto the new board in the clock. Some of the LEDs were slightly out of shape and were a very tight fit in the 13mm hole, so it had to be trimmed slightly with a sharp knife. A hole was drilled in the end for the power socket. A quick file to smooth out the hole. connections were soldered onto the power socket. The 5 volt book converter was tested to check its output, which was about 5 volts. It was connected to the Arduino using a USB 
So cute. And the power supply was also connected to the LEDs. When first powered up, it runs an LED test. The clear back panel was a piece of 3mm thick acrylic. This was scored using the knife along both sides. A bit of a sharp push and a nice clean break. The edges are sanded to smooth them and to get it to the correct size. The hole is drilled in each end for the metal plates for the magnet. You have to be careful when breaking through with the drill and not to trap the acrylic. The protective coating was peeled off both sides of the plastic. A little metal plate was added at each end to hold onto the magnet. A little felt foot was put in each corner to protect the surface of a table or other object. This is the final connection, the 5 volt book converter, the addressable LEDs, the Arduino, The real time clock module, and finally, LED display and a wiring diagram. If you made it this far, well done. Please like and subscribe and future projects will include a new Z-axis for my CNC router stroke plotter and I'm working on a retro gaming joystick. Hi. <laughs>